All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Bucksburg, South Africa, presenting the challenger, Bone Crusher. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the Finney takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice right hand. Another punch position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice straight left hand. Oh, huge 
Superman punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that's a nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds. No healing out process at all. Only the fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Great diversity in this attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Nice strike. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Three minutes to go in the rush. Pretty good right hand. Single collar tie now. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice counter right hook there. Check on the leg kick offering there. A beautiful kick. Nice punch there. Oh, big elbow. and he throws this with the same amount of power to the body and to the head. He's very, very good at throwing up the touches. That one snuck in. Nice strike. That's it. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Yet again, they will clinch here. Hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head and then landing a beautiful punch. Really got it in the corner of Nice, sneaky head kick. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. combination there and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center. He was landing one before, now he's for everything in combination and they're all landing. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice. Powerful position here. And that one certainly found the target. Lands another punch to the head. Both fighters throwing heat now. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. There. Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to keep your hands up. Keep moving.
Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 to set it up again. And I'm taking my money, J.A. Hey, that uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Slips to avoid the right. Good punch land. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block him. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going. Right, so I hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched guys shoot take down the tempo without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this situation. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and over the top, this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Big head kick lands. Collar tie. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, big left hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Try to establish that jab. Good point. Battling for hooks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Lands the right hand. 
round three coming up next. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not. Oh, big punch land. Just missed with the left there. Oh, huge block! Got the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Whips the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big punch land through the middle. Again, they clinch. Boy, tie club. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing clinch after clinch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Stuff to take down, no problem. Lands flush with that right hand. So a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, call oh. Oh, He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for very bad. Oh! Beautiful strike. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Nice one, two there. Another shot with. Oh! Newsberg, serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, yeah, right hand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He has a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. He's a right hand right there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has been... Oh! Connection there! He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. I don't want that well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. 
Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Great punch landing. Oh. Oh. Holy smokes, he put him to sleep. Ooh, blocks the shot. Seconds winding down in round three. Punch over the top. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Blocks the shot. Got clip with the right hand. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big shot lands. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover. Oh! Oh! Man, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mom is out of Thanksgiving. Side control now. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, right in the mouth. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and pump. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Nice move. Fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here too. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and still. Well, D. 
Gracie, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, 